popping happy mental push up Monday, baby. We here. If this is your first time joining, my name is Andrea Fitz Fitzgerald. I'm an author and a speaker and also a person really obsessed with personal growth and development. So each week we get in the gym and we do our mental push-ups because the most challenging yet rewarding work that we will ever do is on ourselves. Y'all see it. We don't remix it. We it's somewhere else today. We in the car. Because you know what? I'm in my consistency ain't sexy challenge, y'all. We are in it right now. I literally had a battle with myself for two hours whether I was going to go to this gym today, y'all. Like, I literally was like, I ain't going. I ain't got to do it. But you know what? I did it. So, yes, four days this week. We did it. Now, my other my other office hours, I got to figure that out when I travel. Because, uh, yeah, I, I got to figure that out. I did one out of four days last week. So, I've got to up my game there. But... As far as getting ready for St. Jude Marathon, we went half marathon. Yes, let me correct myself. Yes, but yes, we on that week three. It still feel like weights on my back. But yeah, we still in that thing, y'all. It was so hard today. Four miles on a treadmill because it was like a billion degrees outside. It was, it was a little hard today. But today, guys, we are going to talk about is it worth it. Y'all, I'm doing my mental push-up in my car. And y'all already know the drill. There ain't no AC in this thing. Listen, we in the middle of... Is it worth it? Yes. Being consistent is worth it to me. So, yes, we about to do this. All right. So, check this out. So, I was, I, I remember when I was, um, when I worked in the NBA, I was an intern. Y'all, I worked for free 99. That's zero dollars. Yeah, y'all know. Free 99. So, um, I remember I was talking to this guy. He had just got hired as an executive. And I said, well, tell me, what do you think is the key to being successful in these business? He said, the people are the top. The que- he said, what you have to ask yourself, he said, the people who are at the top, they are, he said, it's who's willing to stay broke the longest. He said, this job requires a lot of work. Most people aren't willing to do it with the amount of money that you make. And that's true. Like, I remember I worked holidays. I did all kind of things working in, working in the NBA, working in sports. Um, and he was like, most people ain't willing to do it. They ain't willing to deal with it. And so I was telling Christina about this. We went to Dixie Queen one night. Yeah, we went to Dixie Queen on a late night tip. We sure did. We was up in the line. You, If you go to Dixie Queen in Memphis, you already know. Let's drop it in the comments if you like to go to Dixie Queen sometime. That was like my first time since I was a little kid. But, it was. But you know, the food was good. I got to give them credit. So uh, we roll up in that thing. And y'all already know, lying around the building. That joint, it may or may not move. You don't know. So, um, this line is a representation of what he's talking about. Most people are going to be, be, watch, watch, I say, just watch what happened. So, we were sitting in the line, and one by one, you would see people just speed off. They were getting pissed, you know what I'm saying? I mean, lying around the parking lot. And then on top of this, anybody from Memphis, you know, we at the Dixie Queen, but it's people in there working, and they ain't even at the, you know, when you take the orders, when the people take the orders from the little PA, said they weren't even in the thing. So people was getting pissed. They were like, wait a minute, is people in here? If you still like taking my order? So they was getting pissed. So we in line for about 15 minutes. And, and, um, it was like, I think we were like five or six cars behind. One car, they drive off. <laughs> pissed. Ah. So then we move up one car. Like another five, ten minutes. Another car. They get pissed off. Ah, boom. They out. So now it's like two cars in front of us. So we like the third car in line, I think. Third or fourth car in line. And um, and then I think another car. It was like another five, ten minutes. Another car speeds off. So really at this point, we're only, it's only one car in front of us. So we wait maybe another five, ten minutes. And then finally you hear someone on the uh on the PA they like oh welcome to Dixie Queen how can we take your order so they take take their order they up there about five minutes five six seven minutes and then they they roll on up we get up there we place our order boom 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 we roll up to the line just just like we hadn't waited a whole like 45 minutes but yes we as soon as we got up to the to the little the PA system we were able to make our order and um And so I say all that to say that the question, most people who bounced out, that was like, yo, it's not worth it to me. I don't feel like waiting in line. All of this, the question we have to ask ourselves is, is it really worth it to us? So many times we sell ourselves short. We know what we want, but we're unwilling to do what, what it will take for us to get there because it's uncomfortable. 
because it's painful. Oh, I don't feel like I don't got time. Oh, I'm too tired. All this thing, you know. And um, I want to tell you, this is a message to remind you that you're worth it. The pain, the uncomfortability, all that stuff, it's absolutely worth it. Like, your pain is for a purpose. Use it for that. It's okay if it's uncomfortable. You know, like, when you are starting something new, it's uncomfortable. It hurts sometimes, you know. Like, I think about most of the things that have been successful for me. When they first started, like, it ain't feel good. It don't feel good. It's not supposed to. You know, like, dang, y'all know, listen. Running for the training for this little marathon the first three weeks, I was like, dang, I don't think I'm going to be able to do it this year. This is maybe, you know, maybe next year. We'll do it again. But it hurts. It hurts. And so just like all those different, those, those two different scenarios I share with you, you know, when you know, like when you want something badly enough, like when you want to work, when I want, I remember when I first started working, when I wanted to work in NBA, it didn't matter. Zero dollars. I don't care. I will be broke. Because I know where I'm trying to go. Like, even now, like, I talk for free sometimes. I do speeches for free. Because I know where I'm trying to go. Like, I know exactly where I'm trying to go. Is it, is it ideal? Absolutely not. But it's for the purpose of what, of what I know that I'm trying to accomplish. And, and I want you to just keep that in mind. Like, go after that thing that you want with everything you got. It's meant to be uncomfortable. Sometimes it's even painful. Sometimes you even question yourself. That's okay. You know, like just like in that line, we can be so close to the thing. And all those people, ah, I'm not willing to wait. Ah, and we move on to the next thing. And we miss out on our blessing or even something that we are destined to do. So get out there this week. I just want to tell you, it's worth it, y'all. It's worth the discomfort. It's worth the pain because you're worth it. Y'all get out there this week. And do those mental push-ups, y'all. And drop in the comment. This is our action step for the week. I want you to drop in the comment, what is one thing that you're going to commit to in terms of, like, just being uncomfortable? We getting uncomfortable, y'all. It's worth it. Like, is it is it worth it? Drop it in the comment. What what's, what's worth it to you? Drop that in the comment. And the other thing, yes, do this for me. If this video added some value, share, subscribe, like, all of that. And I want you to keep that rookie state of mind well what's the rookie state of mind fits i want you to remember the level up is in the losses problems are a privilege and yes this idea might be new you might be new to this but i know you're true to this because you're in this very moment right now i believe in each one of you get out there this week and do those mental push-ups i love y'all i'm out